for uh, Elite Trader Pro. Uh, Mamun is located and domiciled in the in the UK. I am in the US, um, but again, I only handle the marketing for Elite Trader Pro, their website, and some of their technology uh, for reporting and um, and their internet marketing things of that nature. So I um, I'm not very directly involved with the inner workings of the company. So any any questions you may have after this presentation, I'm going to provide you with Mumun's direct uh, email address and contact information so you could ask uh, Mumun directly and make a, a contact with him on anything after this. Okay, so we have everybody joined in. Uh, let me go ahead and change the slide here. Um, what we're going to cover today, we're going to talk about Elite Trader Pro. We're going to talk about trader membership. We're going to talk about capital allocation, trading fees, uh, the software that we use, uh, any other maintenance fees that we may have for any special requests um, and uh, requirements and how to get started. Okay. Uh, talking about our trading services first, uh, we are, I want everybody to know that we are a private equity trading firm. Now, I understand that Paul had mentioned earlier something about broker services. And using the word broker with Elite Trader Pro isn't exactly correct because Elite Trader Pro is not a broker. Elite Trader Pro is a customer of the broker. Okay, so imagine just, you know, like anybody else, Elite Trader Pro opened up a trading account, a what they call the master trading account with a brokerage firm. And we have multiple firms that uh, Elite Trader uses for multiple reasons. Some have options, some are better for uh, swing trading, some are better for uh uh, day trading, which is specifically what Melissa has everyone doing here, which is good. And um, um, so, so I just want you to understand the relationship that Elite Trader Pro has a an account, a corporate account. They're a customer just like you and most other people have an account, say at E Trade, Scott Trade, Ameritrade, or wherever. And they have a, a, an account with the broker, and they deposit a lot of money in there of their own private capital. And they have an arrangement with the broker dealer where the broker allows Elite Trader Pro to have what they call sub accounts or omnibus accounts under their umbrella. And that's where Elite Trader Pro has the ability to hire individuals like yourself to trade their money under their umbrella. Okay. Um, so basically, what happens is the firm is able to allow you to have an account and provide a whole bunch of capital for you. And the only thing required from you is to show some credentials that you had taken a course and you're educated and, and, and um, learn some stuff either by Melissa or Paul or whoever. It could be another school uh, if you came here from someplace else. Um, and uh, you'd have to just have some uh, qualifications like a phone interview type of thing. And um, you would have to put up some money of your own, and then you have access to a whole bunch of money that is allocated to you by Elite Trader Pro. We'll get into that in just a minute. Okay, the next thing, the company has been established by some expert traders in, uh, in uh, 1996. And, um, and since then, uh, most of the original founders of the company are still on board, and there has been merging of other companies and other people in the business, uh, but the company still remains very, very strong. We, uh, I say we, but they have been through um, some terrible times. They've been through all kinds of recessions. They've been through, you know, 9-11. Uh, they've been through the changes of many presidents and all kinds of stuff. And the company still remains strong. They have a very strong hull. And basically, they're just a pass-through trading firm where they don't get involved uh, in in, um, uh, in investing themselves like banks do, you know. So it really uh, um, it really applies very little risk for the for the clients and customers to get involved with Elite Trader Pro. Moving on quickly. Uh, oh, by the way, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly move on from point to point, and then at the end, when I'm done with everything, we'll be open for some questions. Okay. Um, Companies domiciled in the UK, and what that means to you is this. If the company was domiciled here in the US, there are some restrictions uh, that the US government has put in place. For example, if a trader joins up with a company such as this, you would need to have a license, you would need to uh, be a series, um, have your series 63 and be registered and all this stuff. But being that the company is domiciled in the UK, 
um, all of those requirements pretty much go out the window because the UK, they don't have those requirements. Remember, Mamun is the owner and director of the company. He is a private citizen who has a his own private account with a brokerage firm out in the UK. So basically, he is employing you and me and everybody else to work underneath him, and he has every right to do so. Okay, moving on to the next bullet point here. Um, he is looking to hire educated what they call subcontractor traders. So so basically it works very similar to just simply opening an account at E-Trade, Scott Trade, Meritrade, or anywhere else. But the the specifics of the contract are different. Instead of you opening an account under your social security number or your tax ID uh, under your ownership, you're opening up a sub-account under Mamun's corporate umbrella. It winds up being the same in the end. They're identically parallel. You have your username and password to log into your platform. You trade all the stocks you want to trade. You don't have to follow anyone's rules as far as trade, what, what to trade, what not to trade. Um, you want to deposit more money. You want to withdraw money, withdraw profits that we're going to get into shortly. If you want to close your account at any time, it's almost identically parallel to having an account anywhere else other than the fact that it's a sub-account, it's structured differently um, legally, and uh, most importantly, there are a lot more benefits with Elite Trader Pro, and it's a lot, lot cheaper than it is anywhere else. Let's move on to the next thing. You're trading their private capital, so everyone knows that the funds you'll be trading are not funds that were raised over the phone like a brokerage firm from moms and pops out there in the world who are looking to invest their money. If you were to do that, if the company was to raise money from the general public, no matter if they're in the UK or US, then that's where uh, it gets a little dicey, where an individual would need a license to be regulated by some authority to trade someone else's money. But in this case, you're not trading someone else's money as far as the public. You're trading the private capital of Mamun and his private investors or that are also owners of the company. And um, the, the, the whole restriction or worry that you might lose some, some investors' money, you might lose mom and pop's money that they invested at Elite Trader Pro is out the window. It won't happen because all the money there is all private capital. And if you lose their private capital, uh, it's on them, uh, uh, not on anybody else. So as far as regulatory stuff, I thought it was necessary that we mention that. Talking about these trading software, Elite Trader Pro uses third-party providers. Uh, one of them, their, their main provider is the DAS system, D-A-S. Um, they have uh, the, the least expensive uh, software that is the cleanest, uh, provides good support, and um, just simply has a very good track record of being a, a stable platform um, that, that works. And... Um, and that will be the primary uh, uh, software. If anyone wants to pay top dollar for other software, such as Sterling and things of that nature, it is available. Um, but for most traders, uh, I'm sure Melissa and, and, and Paul and, and even ourselves will recommend the DOS because you can save some money every month. Um, and the last thing, uh, Elite Trader Pro has a third-party provider that does your online reporting. So any traders who are on board with Elite will have uh, access to a website where you log in with your username and password, and you get to see um, all of your trading activity, detailed trading activity. That'll show all your entrance and exits and all your trade executions. Um, It'll show you the timestamp, the ECN that you use to do that transaction, and of course, a very detailed breakdown of the cost and the fees and the trading expenses associated with that trade. And it sums up the whole, uh, everything at the bottom, and you could run a report for one day, for a week, you know, the start date, the end date, uh, and that kind of thing. They will not be any end of month statements like or that are given maybe from Charles Schwab and other companies like that, um, you make your own statements. You log in online, and if you want to print out a statement or download it or export it by Excel, you could do that. Um, and uh, basically, you do your own um, uh, reporting. Uh, member benefits. Um, one of the best benefits that you have is the cash liquidity. 
uh, traders that are under the umbrella of, of um, Elite Trader Pro are not trading on margin. If you are familiar with what margin is, margin is when the banks get involved and they uh, they give you uh, a, somewhat of a credit. They extend like a, a, a credit line to you, like a credit card, and you're able to use that credit um, when you use margin and um, and uh, uh, you pay interest on that money that you borrow and. Uh, at any time, if you're holding positions overnight with other companies, well, the firm could ask for that credit line back simply by giving you what they call a margin call. And um, Elite Trader Pro doesn't have that because the money that they provide to you, which would seem to be like margin, is not margin. It's actual cash. So, for example, they provide 10 to 1 leverage, uh, which we'll get into in a moment. So if a trader, just to make the math simple, if a trader has $10,000 uh, um, that they that they sent over to Elite Trader Pro, uh, they would have $100,000 of cash, not margin, but cash in their uh, platform that they're able to use freely all day long, only for the day, no overnight holdings. Moving on to the next bullet point, the cash is instantly available for the next trade. What that means is, let's say you take a trade, you use $8,000, I'm sorry, you use $80,000 of your $100,000 capital allocation. Um, you make your profit or break even, whatever the situation is. Uh, you hold your position, say, for five minutes or an hour, whatever it might be. Once the moment that you liquidate that position, the cash is readily available that moment for you to get into the next trade. There are some firms and some stocks that I understand that have what they call the T plus three rule that when you buy a stock and then uh, if you go long a position, you liquidate that position, some stocks, some cases, you have to wait three days for that cash to become available again. It kind of gets locked up and held hostage for a few days. That's with other firms. With Elite Trader Pro, this does not happen. The cash is instantly available for the next trade. Uh, eliminates the T plus three wait time that I just spoke about. All trades receive a larger. All traders receive a larger percentage of profits. There are many firms out there, or used to be many firms. There aren't that many anymore uh, that operate similar to Elite Trader Pro, and they for a long for a long amount of time they typically only allow you to keep, uh, say, 30% or 50% of your profits. Um, sure, that's the way they need to be compensated for, for letting you use an, a, a large amount of money uh, that they're providing for you because they're taking a huge risk. You know, if they, their, their argument is if they're giving you $60,000, $70,000, $100,000 of their cash, and God forbid something tragic happens and you lose the whole thing, well, that's on them, right? I mean, you don't have the kind of money to come up with to give to reimburse them. So with companies like that, they would only give, um, you know, a 30% payout or 50% payout of whatever profits you'd make. Well, with uh, Elite Trader Pro, uh, it's much, much larger than that. Why? Because we have uh, many security lines of security protection in place to protect the firm from you losing money up and above whatever your cash is that you had submitted to the firm. Uh, so they don't need to be too worried with the risk. Um, the percentage of your profits is dictated by Melissa or possibly uh, whoever is involved at Stock Swoosh in, in, in making your agreements uh, for this. So they will give you what your percentage is on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that works, so I'll leave that to them. Uh, moving on to the next one, um, profit split is to be determined by also the collateral contribution. Sometimes an individual who wants to put up more money will have a higher percentage of allocation. But again, you'll have to talk to your instructor or your the, the person who recommended you to us uh, for that profit split information. Moving on to the next thing, trader rules. T 10 to 1 uh, ratio of capital. Um, just to give you a quick example, $5,000 collateral contribution from you, the trader will give you $50,000 of cash. $10,000 collateral contribution gives you hundred k of cash. Um, of course, you keep your profits or the very, very large percentage of them, but you also keep 100% of your losses. 
So anyone who misunderstands, don't think that you could trade, lose three grand, you know, over a month. And that comes from elite traders pros pocket. No, it comes from the money that you had put in there. And there is daily fluctuation. For example, let's say somebody puts up uh, 10,000 uh, to, to make the math simple. And uh, at the end of the week, they now have 15,000 or 13,000 because they made a few thousand dollars for the week. Well, now the math will calculate the cash, you know, the 13,000 times 10, giving you $130,000. Okay. So every day, the, the buying power that you have, the amount of cash that's allocated to you will fluctuate on a daily basis as the trader makes profits or loses money. Um, you know, uh, vice versa. If a trader starts off with 10, has a terrible, terrible month at the end of the month or at the end of the day, uh, loses some money. Uh, let's say the 10 winds up being, uh, um, 9,500. Well, they no longer have a hundred thousand dollars of buying power the next morning. They will have $95,000 buying power, whatever it is times 10, whatever their cash is. Moving on to the next thing. They do have, Elite Trader Plural has something called the 10% daily max loss rule. And what this means is every trader must quickly liquidate all their positions, cover your shorts, liquidate your long positions, and cancel any pending orders that are not yet realized um, or unrealized. Everything just needs to be liquidated and you need to stop trading for the day, only for the day, because... Um, our, their statistics show at Elite Trader Pro that if someone loses more than 10% of their cash, not 10% of the buying power of 100 k because that would be minuscule, but if they lose 10% of their cash, which in a $10,000 deposit would be a whole gigantic $1,000 in one day of trading, that's really bad. That's like really like a rookie mistake. Um, and anyone who would lose that kind of money, statistics show – on a comical, in a comical way, pretty much lose their mind and get into what most of us refer to as revenge trading syndrome, where they're trying to quickly make back the thousand dollars they lost in the least amount of time and get reckless and responsible. And that typically leads to more losses, right? I'm sure Melissa and, and uh, Paul and everyone else can attest to that. Um, so that's why we have the 10% max loss rule. You lose more than 10% of your cash in one day. You must stop trading on your own for the day. You don't need Elite Trader Pro's administrators to step in. And trust me, they're watching from their end. They have a risk department full of people. They also have technology in place that will sound all kinds of alarms and things of that nature on their end when a trader does lose more than 10% of their cash. And they'll be watching and making sure that you liquidate and, and, uh, and stop trading for the day. The next day, you could continue trading as normal. Now, if the trader disobeys the rules and continues trading or refuses to liquidate the positions, of course, that trader will be contacted by one of the administrators from Elite. If Elite cannot reach the trader within a, a reasonable amount of time, which will probably be about 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes at most, that, uh, that um, position will be liquidated by the administrator on their end. Uh, they'll probably charge a hefty liquidation fee for that. And then the trader may even get suspended from trading for a few days. So remember, you are trading the funds of Elite Trader Pro. They're putting a lot of their money on the line at risk. So uh, they're pretty much the ones who call the shots. Even though you're the one who put up your 3,000 or your 5,000 or your 10,000, they're the ones who call the shots specifically on the risk, okay? Moving on to the next slide here. We have holding positions after the close is prohibited. Uh, we, they will not allow anyone to hold positions overnight of any size, even if it's like 100, 200 shares. It causes a lot of problems uh, with their um, uh with their bookkeeping or whatever it is that would that could possibly generate margin calls and things of that nature, it happens too often. So there are no positions held overnight. Everybody must be out of their positions at least by four o'clock. So of course, by about ten to four, uh, they want everybody to get out. Sometimes people somehow get stuck in a position after the market closes. Okay, they will give you uh, under those circumstances. Elite will give you until 10 minutes after 4, 20 minutes after 4 at best. But anything after that, most likely Elite will step in and liquidate your position. Even if there's a 2 or $3 spread between the bid and the ask, they don't care. Okay, 
Um, moving on to the next uh, point, the amount of uh, capital that's allocated is based on the individual's risk parameters. Um, for example, there have been traders that put up, say, $5,000 and prove to be completely reckless and irresponsible, um, show you know, trading patterns that are not what their teacher had taught them, and those people can be cut down from 10 times buying power to five times buying power at any time the lead trader wishes to do so. I think this happened maybe less than a dozen times over the past decade uh, that Elite Trader Pro has been doing this for education firms like Stock Swoosh. So it doesn't happen that often, but I did want to throw it out there that um, that the risk parameters, your daily, even your daily max loss, might be tighter than 10% if the firm sees a consistent pattern of the trader, uh, you know, being reckless and irresponsible. Um, okay, uh, trade from your remote location. Um, anywhere you could trade from your home, your business, um, at any time of the day, there are no requirements from elite trader pro as to what hours of the day you would trade or how many trades you would do a day, week, or month, no requirements at all. You trade as much as you want or as little as you want. And it makes no difference to elite trader pro. Um, and, um, you're not, of course, you're not required to trade at our facilities. Uh, like we once required many years ago, those days are over. Um, so uh, once again, there is no trading restriction as far as uh, you could do a thousand trades a day and do 10, 20, 30 million shares a day in volume. There is no cap. There is no restriction and there is no cap on to how much money you could make in profits in one day. Um, so, uh, other firms do have profit restrictions and things of that nature. Elite Trader Pro does not. Um, requirements, licenses required from you. Uh, you're trading private funds that is not public money. Went over that before. Uh, minimum deposit is typically $5,000. If you want to keep your 10 to one status, if you want to keep your 10% daily max loss, if you deposit less than $5,000, and the the um, the balance falls below three thousand dollars. There may be some restrictions involved. Where you'll only be allowed to lose like fifty dollars a day or a hundred dollars a day until you cut off. And your buying power might not be ten times. It might fall down to um, uh, eight times or five times. So just uh, know that most traders typically put at least five thousand on the low side. And they put in 10, 20, 30, 50,000 on the high side. Okay. Um, that's another thing, by the way. Um, we, there is no uh, maximum. We have traders that have deposited well over $100,000 because they want over a million dollars in buying power. I know it sounds crazy to most people, but uh, that's the way the world works. Um, you could cancel anytime before the end of the month. Uh, if you want to take off, you want to take a break uh, from trading, you want to go on summer vacation. Just send an email and get a confirmation from Mamun or one of his administrators or the support department, and they will deactivate your platform before the next month. The reason why I say before the next month is because all the software providers, whether it's DOS or Sterling, whoever it is, charges uh, on the first of the month for, for the software. They don't care if you quit five days into it, 10 days into it. Um, they do not, um, they do not, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Give you a, uh, uh, prorate. That's the word I'm looking for. They do not prorate the software. Um, so, uh, whatever the software fee is, uh, they will charge you the full month, even though you may have used just a few days of it. So make sure if you are going to take a break from trading or you want to close your account at any time, um, make sure you tell elite trader pro before the last day of the month, hopefully it's a work day. Uh, this way you can get confirmation. You will not be charged for the next month for any fees. Okay. Um, next thing, receive. Uh, at the end, if somebody wants to um, close their account, just like any other firm, whatever cash you have there remaining will be sent to you. It will be the net sum of your collateral contribution, which include any profits you made, less any trading expenses that you've or losses that you incurred during your journey with us. 
Um, all funds are distributed on the 15th of the month. Now, this is very important. Requests must be received no later than the last day of the previous month. For example, let's just say somebody wanted to take out some profits they made last month in May. Um, or they wanted to close their account in May and take a vacation for the summer. Those people had to contact the Lead Trader Pro no later than the last business day of May. If they contacted Mamun and their administrators on June 1st or June 5th and said, hey, I want to close my account and I want a, I want a disbursement, I want a check on, uh, not a check, they do everything by wire, on the 15th of June, Mamun would have to say, sorry, you missed the deadline. Uh, you're going to have to wait until July 15th to get your money. So make it known that everybody, <clears throat> um, um, we want to make sure that everybody is, uh, uh, you know, on the same page and um, end up. Ported ver yep. Um, can ev everyone can hear me again? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I accidentally hit the mute button on my thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know if, um, if Paul or somebody is recording this, I was just saying, uh, but if not, no problem. Um, um, we do have a recorded version of this presentation. There might be some differences uh, uh, from this presentation because this was kind of specially done for Melissa and stock swoosh people. But uh, uh, if it's not recorded, no worries. Uh, we could record it uh, or do this again sometime in the next few days or next week um, and record at that time. Um, okay, so uh, going back to what I was saying, all funds, are dispersed on the 15th. All requests must be made no later than the last day of the previous month. So uh, if people sign up today or sometime this week and uh, you make some money for the month of June and you want to uh, withdraw those two, three thousand dollars of profits that you made for the month of June, um, you could make your request at the end of June and on July 15th, you'll get your check. Uh, you'll get your wire. If you make your request on July 1st or July 3rd or July 5th, you will not receive your money until um, until uh, the next month after that, until August. Um, okay, next thing on the list to talk about. Um, if you want to send an email to billing at Lead Trader Pro to request funds, that is the, the address that we use for any deposit withdrawals and anything of that nature. But if you want to have any questions about things we're discussing today, how to get started, fees, costs, things of that nature, you will contact Mamun directly, which I'm going to provide his address in just a moment. Uh, but before we go into that, I want to talk about trading activity. I told you earlier that any traders who will trade through Elite Trader Pro will have a log on to a website that'll have all the reporting of all your transactions. It'll show a detailed description of every single trade execution, timestamp, costs, fees, expenses, the ECN that you use, or the route, um, and every single detail you need for that trade. There will also be a summary of what you have done for the day, the week, the month, and you dictate how you want to see a report from your start date to the end date, and it is exportable and uh, can be exported to Excel uh, for whatever reasons that you want for your own record keeping. Um, and uh, all trade details are available. You can export uh, at the end of the year, only for the traders who are profitable, being that you are being hired as a subcontractor. You're not opening an account under your social security number. You're actually opening up a sub account under a lease corporate umbrella. So you're kind of like a subcontractor, like an employee. You're even a ghost under the eyes of, uh, say, the IRS or anything like that um, because uh, you basically don't exist other than um, under the list of traders under Lead Trader Pro in, in that respect that you uh, your trades, your, your, your buys and sells, your profits and losses are not recorded and submitted 
to the government the way they are if you trade at E-Trade, Scott Trade, Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, or anywhere else. At the end of the year, you have to understand that brokerage firms have a fiduciary responsibility to send all of your trade reports to the government. And you need to do it through your account and through them, and they need to match up, okay? Um, Elite Trader Pro does not do that. Being that they're domiciled and based out of the UK, uh, they don't have those obligations, nor do they care to uh, follow the US ones because they have to follow their UK uh, tax obligations. You are not liable or uh, or responsible for any of that. Um, all you are responsible is to trade and make money and uh, and you don't need to bother with anything with uh, reporting. At the end of the year, profitable traders will get a 1099. The very simple reason for that is because if you have tons of profits that's on the books of Elite Trader Pro, Elite Trader Pro does not want to pay taxes on your profits. So they use 1099 to to transfer those profits off of their books of Elite Trader Pro and onto your personal books. This way you could take care of paying taxes on your capital gains in that respect as a 1099. If you are not a profitable trader at the end of the year, of course, a 1099 is not applicable to you. You cannot receive a 1099 for losing money. It can only be made for money that was paid to you that you gained. So if that's the case and there's a trader that is not profitable, they would simply take a summary of all their trading costs, fees, and expenses and losses. And um, if you don't already have a corporation, you talk to your accountant on how you could take all those trading expenses, being that you were a subcontractor and uh, you lost uh, a lot of money and wasted your time, say, as a subcontractor. The same, somebody would paint a house uh, and as a subcontractor and then the house burns down and they lose all the hard work they did. Well, you could write that off. That's an expense. You put a lot of hard work and money into this venture and it was lost. And that could be written off as an operating expense or a business expense. That's something you need to talk to your accountant about. Um, ETP is responsible, like I said, to report all the activity to their accountants and the, the firm's uh, tax ID, and you are not. And traders typically write off all the expenses. Okay, now moving on, looking at the level two direct access platform, if you don't have one already, uh, the platform that we like to use most, uh, especially for malicious people, is. Um, is uh, the DOS Trader Pro. Um, this DOS Trader Pro is direct access level two trading platform, live streaming quotes, very, very fast platform, especially for those who have fast internet connection. It is loaded to the top with every uh, chart study you'd ever possibly need. It's loaded with everything, um, you know, um, uh, even has its own internal scanners uh, and everything that you would need. Um, it does work over multiple monitors. Some of our traders have over six monitors, and it works perfectly across multiple monitors without crashing. Uh, and um, and if you want to download a uh, a demo of it, uh, I guess you could speak. Uh, you could send us an email or or contact us as I'm going to instruct you in just in a moment, or possibly Melissa uh, or. Uh, or Paul or someone could uh, let you know get a demo if you don't know how to do it already. But this is basically what it looks like, uh, or a miniaturized version of the platform. Um, okay, trade execution costs. Traders pay the greater of 0 0.005 per share or $3 minimum per ticket, but not both. So in most cases, you're going to pay be paying about $3 a trade. If you see the E-Trade Scott Trade commercials, and uh, um, uh, there's a whole bunch more, Ameritrade, they're typically between $8, $9 per trade. Well, at least they advertise that. But if you look at your statement at the end of the month, and you look at all the hidden costs and fees and other shenanigans they do, you're typically paying about $9, $50 to $10 a trade, sometimes even more than that. But with this company, it is $3 per ticket, okay? Um, now, the only time it is more than $3 per ticket is a very large order. For example, if someone bought or shorted a thousand shares, 0 0.005 times a thousand is five dollars. So that's the only time the cost of the trade would be a thousand dollars. I mean, <laughs> sorry, thousand. The cost of the trade would be five dollars because it would be a thousand shares. Okay, um, 
and uh, and if it was 900 shares, 800 shares, like I said, it would be uh, a little over $3. But typically, most people are doing 200 and 500 shares. It typically stays around $3 per trade. Now, on in addition to that, there is an ECN fee. For those of you who are using Level 2, uh, typically you'd be using ARCA or NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange. They all typically charge about an extra $3 per thousand. Okay, so if you buy a thousand shares and it was five dollars, tack on about another two dollars for two and a half dollars, three dollars for Arca, bringing it up to about six or seven dollars for a thousand share traders. It's my understanding that Melissa doesn't have many thousand share traders. That would be more of a very advanced or expert thing to do. Uh, but typically, around four to five hundred shares, your 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 pricing will be about three fifty four dollars per trade, which is uh, pretty good. It's almost half. Of what the competition is okay the DOS trader pro software is two hundred and fifty dollars a month and again it is a professional grade level two direct trading access uh, level two direct access platform now what this means to you is this um, it, sometimes people like oh my god 250 sounds like a lot of money yeah it does if, if you're talking about um, um, using like an online uh, an online uh, web access type of of trading platform, you know, but but a professional grade direct access platform uh, will save you so much money in execution um, in, in in better executions. For example, let's say um, you and I were sitting next to each other. I'm using the DOS trading platform. You're using the E-Trade uh, web platform or some kind of free platform or a very low-cost platform. And both of us decide to put in a limit order. And on a count of three, we want to buy, let's say, 1,000 shares of Tesla, TSLA. And on a count of three, we both hit the buy button if we're doing market or a limit order. And you will see that my 1,000 shares will most likely get Print uh, uh, executed faster than yours, probably within milliseconds, and I will probably get about two to three pennies better execution than you did faster than you did on the way in and on the way out. Now, on a thousand shares, I know one, two, three pennies doesn't sound like much, but on a round trip, it adds up to be a significant amount of money. And if I do that 10, 15 times a day, you can see why in two, three, four days. My $250 that I'm paying a month would be reimbursed to me pretty much in, in, in superior executions on my, my uh, by, you know, entrance and exits. So it sounds like a lot for some people, but it is so, so worth it because uh, I can't tell you how many times there would be a stock that's moving very, very quickly. And let's say we made a good, a nice profit in the stock, and now it's about to turn against us in a real bad way. We need to get out at market. We need to get filled within milliseconds to get the heck out of there. And a level two direct access with a good connection will get you out. Um, on inferior platforms will stutter, uh, will have slippage, will not get you out of the thousand shares uh, you know, in one shot or in two or three uh, trade fills, they'll get you out in like five or six or eight fills. Um, very, very, very horrible execution price on the inferior platform. So that's enough said with that. Moving on to the next thing, ECN route charges, they are all passed through. So if you use ARCA, Brute, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, whoever you use, whatever they charge, we pass right over to you. We do not do what some of the other firms do, um, some of the big firms like E-Trade and Scott Trade, and to mark up the ECN routes. Uh, we do not mark them up. Whatever they are, they go to you. And it also goes for the flip side. If you're the kind of person who likes to add liquidity when you're trading and you want to receive a rebate, we do not dip our hands into your rebate. It all goes right to you, 100% of the rebate. And then, of course, you have your payout percentage. Exchange fees such as the TAF fee, SCC fees, all other fees, uh, exchange fees are passed through uh, and they are subject to change time to time and you'd have to go to the FINRA website to find out what they might be. Um, those fees are also detailed on your trade reports in their own column and they are labeled as the TAF fee, the SCC fee, whatever other clearing fees might be there. They're very, very minuscule. 
they wind up being like, you know, um, 20 cents per 10,000 shares traded for the month or whatever it is. But at the end of the month, sometimes they can add up for some of the high volume traders. Uh, but there are exchange fees and they are also pass through. Elite Trader Pro does not tamper with them or mock them up. Low cost and free routes are available uh, and may require you uh, to educate yourself on how to use them. For example, there's EdgeX and EdgeA. Um, they have their own websites. Uh, you could read about how to add liquidity or removing liquidity and which one to use and how to use it. Um, I personally don't recommend using the, them too often. Well, it depends on what kind of trading model you have uh, because you might not get a superior fill or an execution on your trade the way you would during, using ARCA. But it is certainly something that you should look into uh, if you're looking to add liquidity and um, and not pay any ECN fee, even possibly receive a credit. Um, Dust Trader Pro, uh, Pro software fully loaded with all the major chart studies, real-time level two quotes, time and sales window, before and after market trading data. This is very important to some traders that factor into pre-market uh, trading activity. A lot of other platforms do not have pre-market charts and trading activity. That's one of the things that we feel is very superior about the Dust Trader Pro. Level two data with total view, meaning that uh, you get to see all of the ECNs and all of the market makers listed in your level two screen. Um, most traders, uh, even myself, look at this as our crystal ball, where we're able to see the battle between supply and demand in the stock in real time. Um, it has a New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, Brute, ARCA, EdgeX, Edge A, and many more. Uh, so basically has all the routes and even some smart routes. Uh, that you would need to trade with. Um, it has all the major indices um, and professional charting tools, you know, the major indices being the Dow Jones, the S&P, the Russell, and, and the list goes on and on. Um, and it's customizable, customizable charting uh, 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 studies that um, are much more customizable than some other platforms that I see. I mean, they really let you get in there and put in your own customization settings to any kind of Fibonacci retracements, stochastic indicators, uh, and any kind of trend lines of any kind. Um, and uh, I think that's very impressive. Um, it's programmable shortcut keys. Um, most platforms do have this, but I like the way DOS makes it very easy for you to set up your your shortcut keys, so like say your F1 key will buy uh, 500 shares, your F2 key will sell 500 shares at market on limit or stop limit, whatever you want to do. They're very uh, easy to customize. And um, so how do you get started? Our website, um, www.elitetraderpro.com. I'm going to show that to you in just a moment, but it's elitetraderpro.com. And you go to the contact us up in the right-hand corner. Um, it'll take you to this page. Uh, you'll enter in your first name, last name. How did you hear about us? I don't think Stock Swoosh or Melissa's name is on that drop-down menu. So if it's not, please enter it in the comments. We want to know that if you contacted us, you're contacting us through uh, Stock Swoosh, okay? Um, or Melissa or Paul recommended you. Uh, put in uh, your comments. Um, not only that, uh, but if you want to add any other questions or comments or uh, time of day that we should contact you, just don't put too much words in the uh, comments area because I think it only allows up to so many characters and then cuts you off, okay? So once you fill that out, we will get it on our end and we'll be able to contact you by email to answer your questions or even call you uh, back. Uh, we do have an 800 number that you could reach us at. It's not always manned by a human being, so you may have to leave us a message. Uh, we do have a Skype um, ID that we will provide to you as well. Um, and also want to let you know something's wrong with our telephone. We are switching carriers from a company called OneBox to another company, another provider in the UK. And it's in transition, and somebody there dropped the ball. So our number has been broken for a few days, uh, but it will be back on track. Don't worry about it. You could always reach us through the website 
and through email, okay? Um, okay, we will send you a contract agreement by email in a PDF format. If you wanted to proceed with us, after you contact us, you print the agreement forms and follow the instructions on the forms, very similar to what you've seen in the past, and uh, you complete them by hand. Um, then you could uh, scan them, those completed documents, scan them if you have a scanner, and email us the images, or you could fax them to us. Why do we do things like the old you know, Stone Ages? It's because we need your physical signature on this particular type of uh, subcontractor agreement. We cannot do like an, an e-sign thing on the internet. We need your real signature, and that's why uh, we do it this way, okay? After we receive, you receive your assigned agreements, then the firm will provide you with further instructions on how to submit your uh, deposit, and uh, and then you'll get a ID number, a trader ID number that will be your login, and your live trader ID will become operational within 24 to 48 hours of receiving your funds. Okay, so um, this is the website, EliteTraderPro.com. That's our broken phone number right now. So, but write it down. It should be possibly available uh, later today or tomorrow, sometime soon. But this email address is the most important thing. If you want to contact Mamun at Elite Trader Pro, um, he will be able to answer any questions. But uh, um, before you do that, it would be best if you go to the website and enter your information in there. This way you are in the queue, like first come, first serve, people we, we uh, like to accommodate. Also, you will be in our database system so we could take notes on our conversations when we contact you and make things easier for us. So we don't have to do the data entry and type it in ourselves. Okay, so that's it uh, for the presentation. Uh, very quickly, um, does anyone have any questions that I can address here in this presentation? Um, if if you don't have any questions, just simply put uh, you know N for no or Y for yes. So go ahead. Okay, um, Journey, if you have a question, go ahead. You're welcome, Paul. Uh, uh, does Journey have a question for me? You could go ahead and type it here. Oh, withdrawing money fees. If you wanted a wire, uh, I believe it's uh, the, the regular fee that, that Chase Bank charges. So I guess it's like $25 or $20 for U.S. And then it's like $35 for foreign. So if you're outside, uh, the U.S., um, it would be a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, we also offer something called ACH transfer. So uh, withdrawing money would take about two to three days to clear, and I believe that's significantly less. That's only about $5. There is no charge for depositing money, okay? Yeah, uh, the split. The split between um, I don't know if if uh, Melissa, are you logged in? Um, no, the fees are not split. The fees that we spoke about, the three dollars per uh, per transaction, is is all solid to the trader. I don't know if Melissa's in here. Let me see if I could get Mamun. Mamun, if you're listening in through Skype, uh, would you chat to me if Melissa uh, has a stocks? Uh, a stock split, a uh, a commission split. Okay, that's the the split, the profit split is something we'll have to go over later. But whatever it is, it's a large amount that is in your that's in uh, your favor. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, so if you make ten thousand dollars for the month uh, and you had a great month. Um, you'll be able to keep a very, very, very large portion of that. Very little of it would go to uh, um, the firm. Oh, okay. I'm receiving that. There is no, um, there is no. Uh, it's a hundred percent payout. So please accept my apologies, everyone. There is a hundred percent payout to stock swoosh traders. Uh, so if you make $1,000, you keep the whole thing. You know, of course, less fees cost commissions. Uh, the 1099 uh, reflects uh, the trader's gains, but not losses. You see, um, you have to understand, uh, Journey, that um, that um, 
at the end of the year, if a trader makes money, they are paid. They are paid, uh, you know, as a subcontractor. And as a subcontractor, you need to have a 1099 at the end of the year. So you could report that money as income and do what you got to do with it. But if you do not get paid at the end of the year because you made losses and there was not a single time you made money, I mean, you know, as far as the disbursement up and above the amount you deposit, then a 1099 does not uh, apply to you. A 1099 is just not applicable. So you would get nothing from the firm as far as that goes. But what you would do, like I had mentioned earlier, is you would want to write off those losses if you had made losses. You would also want to write off your trading expenses. This even goes for people who made money. You know, your, your, your trading fees, the software fee, even your internet cost that you spend to your internet provider. I mean, these are all trading expenses that should be written off at the end of the year. And if you don't already do it, then you need to speak to your accountant on how to set up, say, a corporation so you could really get the full benefit of, uh, of writing off your trading expenses. Okay. Um, writing off the losses is a whole nother thing, but that's something you need to talk to your accountant about. But certainly writing off the expenses, the trading fees, the software fee, and everything else that goes with it, banking fees, uh, these are all things that you can write off. All right. So I guess uh, any other questions before I uh, before I go? Just put y, uh, N for no or ask your question. We wait. wait we have one more bunch from Gene. If you have any, anyone else has any questions, please put them in now because I need to jump and uh, – and Paul and uh, Melissa need to get back to uh, doing business. That's correct. That's a very good question, Gene. Um, yes, using ETP as an individual does not um, deem you as a pattern day trader. Why? Because as a pattern day trader, you need to have, in order to get away from that rule, you need to deposit, what is the, the minimum amount? Is it $20,000 in your account or something like that? Um, I know they've changed it back and forth and it's different for different kinds of uh, uh, options traders or equities traders, but but uh, you don't need to worry about that um, and, and maintaining a certain deposit because Elite Trader Pro has surpassed that minimum deposit requirement by many, many millions of dollars. So you don't need to worry about um, that because you are a sub-account under the corporate umbrella of a company that has millions of dollars with the brokerage firm. So you are no longer a pattern day trader. And that's a very good point, and I, I'm going to update our slideshow presentation to reflect that. Okay? Um, and uh, that's good. I'm glad Mamun had mentioned that. Typically, Elite Trader Pro does not accept anyone with less than $5,000, but as a courtesy to Melissa and Stocksmoosh Traders, your minimum is 2500 um, So you can get on board with 2500 You will receive $25,000 of our cash to use freely as you wish. Um, you are not allowed to lose more than $250 in one day. If you do, you need to stop trading because uh, that would violate the 10% rule. Um, but let it be known that if somebody loses little bits and pieces of money throughout the week and the month on a $2,500 deposit and that balance falls, say, below $1,500, you'll kind of be on probation uh, and you may lose some of your buying power privileges where it might be bumped down from, say, 10 to 1 to 8 to 1, maybe even 5 to 1, depending on your trading pattern um, and things of that nature. So if you do come in with the least amount of 2500 you want to make sure that you keep it above 2500 um either with you know daily weekly profits or submit uh a small deposits of money uh to keep it above 2500 so you're in good standing with the company okay um i'll wait for any other questions it doesn't look like i have any other questions so that much uh, pretty much wraps it up hey mamun in the in the the, the uh Hotcom, uh, did you want to take the microphone um, and uh, say anything? Yes or no? Well, 
Mamun, if you're there, if you could hear me, I was just wanted to know if you want to say a couple of words. If not, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Yeah, um, it looks like we um, we already asked for questions, and uh, it doesn't seem like we have any questions. Any other questions would be they're instructed to submit them by email. Okay. All right. Mamoon says to wrap this up, I want to thank Paul and I want to thank Melissa for giving us this opportunity. Thank you all for, for listening in. Uh, we will probably do this again sometime next week or the week after um, and make sure that we record it on RN. And uh, again, we want to thank you for all attending. Uh, Paul or uh, Melissa, I'm going to go ahead and disengage the mic and the, and the presentation. So uh, the mic is yours. Thank you.